Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is William. In the today's tutorial, I would like us to look at Laravel Scout. And Laravel Scout enables us to do a full text search um, on our models. And in this case, uh, we can be able to use it with several drivers. We can be able to use Algolia. We can use Melee Search. We can use the MySQL or PostgreSQL driver. And we can also be able to just use a collection for local uh, development. So I would, in this tutorial, I would like us to look at, um, at, at, at Scout in combination with Algolia. And before we begin, uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I ask that you may subscribe. And the first thing I would like us to do is to install uh, Laravel Scout. So I'm just going to open Terminal and we are going to run the command Composer require Laravel Scout and this command will be able to install our application. I will pause a bit. Now that our package has been installed, maybe I can go ahead and clear. I would like us to publish uh, the providers. So in this case we are going to use PHP Artisan vendor vendor publish and then i'm going to tag the provider so among other things you publish a configuration file service provider and so on and so forth so in this case we are going to put uh, the provider will be Laravel Scout and then Scout service provider like that. So I hit enter and the assets have been published. The next thing I would like us to do is to, uh, in this case, I would like us to use it on a posts model. So in this case, sort of something like blog posts. So in this case, I would want to create the blog posts. So I, I would just say, I will, I will create the model. So PHP artisan make model, in this case, post. And maybe let it create every other thing about this model so it you create several very many things and this time this command actually runs very fast and now we have the post model so i would just like to open up models and then post so once we have opened this uh, model i'm going to uh, use laravel scout above here so we are going to have use Laravel Scout and then searchable so the searchable straight searchable I believe I've searchable I've not right written it correctly searchable like that then we use save and then we can also include the illuminate so we can also have use illuminate database eloquent model and then down here we are going to have use has factory and we are also going to put a comma and also include the searchable trait so searchable like that after that we will also um, uh, go ahead and uh, maybe create I think there's a problem let me check let me pause a check 
my bad i didn't see that i have repeated myself so the error here is because this one is already mentioned above there so let me just remove it like that and save uh, then i want us to go and also install algolia so we are going to use the command composer require algolia and then algolia search algolia search hyphen client hyphen php so in this case you install the client uh, sdk for algolia for php so algolia search client php i think that one is okay as it installs i can pause the video the installation is done and i would like us to just go to config it's just something i do not want to forget to, to just show you the configura configuration uh, file for scout so in this case i want us to go to config and then we will look for the configuration configuration file for scout and so i just wanted to show you this one here so as you can see the driver the default driver in this case we are using algolia as the default driver so if you're using millisearch you have to ensure that you change it here and then uh the scout prefix i mean the prefix is scout prefix and then of course we can decide whether we are using q or not for this purpose i'm going to set it as true because we will use the q after that uh after commit false that's that one is okay the chunks 500 that one is fine and then we have soft deletes we will not be using that and then uh, identify scout identify that one will not be using that and then now for melee search if you're using melee search then this is the configuration but there's something that i need to mention uh these are the things that we require to have in our env the algolia app id and algolia secret so those two we really need to ensure that we have been able to add them in our env file and then now for melee search these are the credentials that are required so i would like us to just pick the two so we have the app id i will just copy it and go and paste it in our env file so maybe we can just scroll downwards and paste it there some space so algolia app id and then we will also require the algolia app secret and all these we are going to get them from uh algolia so in this case uh, the algolia website so uh, those two we have them like that the next thing i want us to do is to go, to go to algolia website and be able to get the two credentials so we are going to open chrome i do not know if it's already open let me let me just see chrome and uh, we will open it and then uh, we visit algolia so if you have not created an account you ensure you create an account and then after that you will use your own credentials for me i have already created an account so the only thing i'm going to do is to log in so um so i'm going to type my email codersbase1 at gmail.com and then the password after that i'm logged in and what we really require are the keys so i would like us to just check where we have uh, the place where we can be able to get the keys and then we continue like that so maybe we can go to let me see let me no thanks there's nowhere where keys are being mentioned here uh let me see let me see 
me just pause and check yes you would actually just click on settings so once you click on settings you will be brought here where you have billing general and team access in this case we will click on api keys and uh, the first thing that we are going to get is the api application id application id and this one is the first thing that we are going to copy and this one as you can see it's not even hidden so i'll just paste it here but for the algolia secret um this one i has to be a secret in this case you will not be able to share with anybody even mine i'm not going to share with you people but what we are going to copy is actually the api key and api key has uh, the abilities of um, creating deleting updating the indices in the algolia um, backend so in this case this one is supposed to be a secret so i'm going to post this video as i paste it in my env file so i'm going to post so we have been able to paste the secret and now i think we are very good to continue now going back to the post model i would like us to do one more thing maybe do a little bit of configuration so in this case we are going to just open uh, let me open the that model so up models and then post we're just going to add a few lines of code down here and we are going to actually set what we are going to call our index so in this case we are going to say public function searchable this thing is searchable as like that and then uh, that in this case is a string whatever we expect to be passed there is a string like that and then we are going to return so this is the way we are going to the index that we are going to have named in the algolia website so maybe i'm just going to write posts or my posts index underscore index so that is how it's going to be saved and then i will close that with a semi semicolon like that the next thing i would like us to do is maybe to be able to create some records so we will go to factories because when we created our model we passed the flag a in this case it was able to create for us even the factories so I want to go to database and then factories as you can see we have a post factory I would like uh, to be able to just uh, enable it to create some fake posts so in this case we are going to have um, maybe we have post title and this post title I want it to be a fake sentence fake sentence so it will just give us some words maybe not very many but yes and then we have maybe the post body this one you be maybe fake we can say paragraph like that and then after that we have uh, maybe the slug and in this case we can have it as fake slug like that I will save this and then we can go to the cedars and in this case I'm just going to use the database cedar and we are going to create several uh, posts so in this case we can say up 
we we call the the factory so in this case app models a post post factory and then we are going to pass how many posts we, we want to create so in this case i want to create 2000 posts those ones you not be bad for us and then we can say create like that so when i run php artisan db seed it will be able to seed these uh, posts in our database but remember the migrations we have not created the post uh, we have not edited the post migration so in this case it has nothing so I think that is the next thing that I would like us to do so here we are going to create uh, maybe a title will be a string so in this case we are going to call it title like that and then we also have uh, the body in this case maybe I can say text and then we are going to call it body and then finally we can talk about the slug so in this case table slug I mean string and then its name is going to be slug like that after that we are able to uh, run php artisan db seed db seed and then it seems i have an error class eliminate no this one i think is uh, mistyped it's supposed to be eliminate like that with a U. I think I can attempt to run the migration again. So let me clear this and then uh, PHP artisan DB seed once more. We still have an error. Let me pause and check. And the error that is giving me is table was not found. Yes, that one is very true because we did not do the migrations. We are doing database seeding before we we do the migration. So first of all, we will be able to do PHP artisan migrate. Now, because the table that we are using is a table called Laravel, and I've used it for other um, data uh, other projects, I want to just type migrate fresh such that it drops the tables that exist and then migrates the new tables then after that I would like also to check in my uh, DB seed if I saved because if I didn't we will still have an error now that one was saved so let us try and see if we can be able to uh, seed our database as you can see it's seeding the database i because it you take a while for it to do that i do not want to bore you with waiting let me pause the video a little bit our database has been fully seeded and uh so if we are to just check the database itself you can see that where we have the posts we actually have 2000 blog posts in this case uh, the ones that have been just created from uh, seeded uh, fake data so I would like us to then import our data into Algolia and we are going to use the command php artisan scout import like that and in this case it in, imports in any default driver that you have been able to set in your config in the scout config so whether it's algolia whether it's millisearch whether it's the mysql or, or postgresql or whether it is collections if you are doing a local development so in this case wherever it is that you want them to to go and then if you want to remove them you will use a different command which will be flash so the same thing php artisan 
flash but then you must put uh, the model with which you are working with so in this case i will do import because that is what we want to do import and then we are going to uh, say which model so up models and then the name of the model in this case post post model and then I uh, will press enter as you can see it's importing and it is chunking 500 1000 1500 2000 and all of them have been imported so in this case I would like us to go back to Algolia and go to the home page and be able to view uh whatever it is that has been indexed in this case so as you can see we have uh my posts index this one is the one that i'm interested in and as you can see the records are 2k records in this case 2000 records by default algolia can be able to uh, give you uh, a storage for 10,000 uh records free of charge and then if you go above 10,000 then you have to make a payment in the in this case so um we have them and maybe i can just intend to open and then we see what we actually have here uh, my internet is a little bit slow but uh let's see yes so as you can see we have 2000 records and we have the size as a uh, 349 bytes and we have the data here so you can see we have title and id title and id and then of course some more things about whatever it is that you're having now i would like us to go to the controller and see how we can be able to return or in other words perform a search of uh, the records that we in this case we are talking about i would like us to go to models So you go to controllers, post controller. And here I would like us to just use the index, um, maybe create a method under, maybe change one of the methods here. We have index and we have this one that we are calling create. So this one maybe I would like us to change it and call it such. like that and then we will pass in a parameter which we are going to call query and then if now we want to return the records from algolia we are just going maybe to to save them in a variable called posts and in this case we are going to say post search and then we are going to pass in our query so you can see the way we are doing it we are not doing it the way we usually do with eloquent and then we can say get so in this case it you get for us all the posts that match this name that we are passing in the query and then i just want us to return posts like that of course i'm going to create a route that you assist us to be able to uh, call this uh, to call this uh, method so in this case in our routes folder i want to create web.php i want to create one route that you just be pulling the records for us so in this case route and uh, we can just say route get route get and then i'm going to say we have a visiting search and then we are passing in the query like that and then after that the controller that we are calling is uh let me put it entirely the way it is so up http controllers 
and then the name of the controller post controller class then the method that we are calling in this case is such if I'm not wrong and then we will be able to close this route by semicolon so let me just check if we have actually called it that yes we have called it such that's okay and so i would like us to finish up by going to we will just use the web dot p i mean the welcome dot blade dot php to display whatever it is that we will be searching so in this case i will go to resources views welcome dot blade and i want to just remove everything that we have here and then be able to just put some uh, bootstrap code so in this case just a quick thing i will go to bootstrap.com bootstrap.com and then i'm going to copy maybe let me just create html5 so in this case i will say doc type let me just let me html like that and then we pick html5 like that it will give us sort of like beginning uh, scaffolding and then here i want to just um, go to documentation for bootstrap and then do a few things copy some few things here in this case i'm interested in uh, this link so this one i'm going to paste it here or maybe i can just copy everything that we have here we just copy everything that we have there we come and paste here of course if you have a way in which you are going to display uh, the search box in the front end you are done with this tutorial but i'm just attempting to just be not leave it on the way not leave it on the way just to explain a little bit more so then we are going to go to under documentation i would like us to go to components whereby we can be able to go to form forms overview and then here i would like us to to just copy a form here so in this case we're just going to copy anything so even this one from here to here just to where we have a form so we copy this we are going to paste it here it's the only thing actually that we are going to have so even the formatting will not be that uh, good but I do not want the scope of this tutorial is just to see how we can be able to achieve that so in this case we are going to have input type text and then every other thing here maybe I can remove like that and even this thing of we will not we will never share something this one also how you remove like that and then um, I want us to maybe just have an ordered list here where now we will be doing a little bit more after we have typed in whatever it is that we want we can be able to display what we will be having one more thing i would like us to just copy the view.js cdn link view.js 
so uh, how you click here and go to guide and then scroll down where we have uh, the Vue.js CDN link I think under quick start so here we will have the link that we are looking for the various ways of installing view and how you pick this one how you copy this and I just want to paste it before the end of the head tag here there after that so we have Vue.js uh, link loaded and then now this one I'm going to because it's an input we are going to call it V we're going to have a V model such that we have the data binding so V model and we are going to call it search query like that and then after that once we have been able to search I would like us to display whatever it is that we have searched here so I'm going to we are going to first of all let us first of all process every other thing before we talk about all those other things so down here I'm going to have a script and we are going to have a constant create up and then our app is called view and then we come and it's supposed to be capital V and then we come and talk about this app that we are calling create up We instantiate it. So in this case, uh, uh, we will have the data property. And here is where we are going to put the search query. Search query. That which we have referenced above. And we are going to set it to null for the start. And then after that we are going to have methods and then we will also have a watch or watcher property which will be watching the search query so search query and then we can have after and then before so this one you'll be checking the changes you'll be watching for the changes as we type and then I, I would like us after that as we type as uh, the changes are being uh, noted, noted I would like us to be able to get the results so in this case we can call a method which we are going to create and we are going to call it get results and I would like us to define that method now in this case under method so we're going to have a method called get results and then braces so this method we are going to call to our search route so axios get in this case we are going to have search and then I would like us to append the query so in this case this dot this dot search query 
like that in whatever it is that you'll be having then we can have dot then uh, the result the response in this case we can say uh, we can save whatever it is that we are getting to in a variable called in, in in a variable called results results then we can say this dot data so whatever data we are getting from the api call we will save it in a in 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 uh, results so in this case the results how so you define it here you are going to set it to be initially to an empty array so this dot results dot data then maybe if there are any errors so we can say dot catch error and then here maybe we can just console log the error just that then of course um, down here we we will uh, mount the application so we can say mount up like that and now that means we have to define um, a property with an id of up up here so we can say div so we can say id in this case up up for it to be able to work and one more thing i've not been able to import the axios cdn so i'm going to look for it and um, you just click here and copy it so yes the link is script this one and then we are also going to paste it before maybe after future yes before we close the uh, script tag so these results i would like us to display them and so we are going to display them in this unordered list that we have here so I will finish it up by writing a list so in this case and close it like that so now as we search we'll be able to get results and after we get results we would like to display these results that you'll be getting so in this case what we are going to have here we are going to to just display and we are going to use uh, vif so uh, maybe we can check if there are any results in length such that it displays this so we can say v if results dot length and if i've moved fast very fast with this uh, last step there is a, a tutorial i'm actually using the code that i used in a in another tutorial whereby we were doing live search so maybe you can check it out maybe it you'll be able to give a little bit more clearer insight so we are checking if the results uh, the length of the results is greater than zero so in this case this uh, result uh, variable that you've been able to set here is not empty then we, if it has an array of values then we can be able to display them so uh, this one is usually a conditional uh, rendering um, directive so after that we can be able to just say uh, we can be able to display whatever it is that we have 
so maybe this one i can wrap it in a in its own div let me just copy this or maybe cut it and just display it in its own div i think it's proper that way so div and then we close the div that way and then we are going to paste it here and i would like to maybe remove this here and uh, put it above here like that and then here we are going now to loop through we can say v4 so this is how we loop through a list in uh, Vue.js such that we'll be displaying each of them as they appear so in this case we can say result comma index like that and then we can say in results like that and then here i want us to have the title so in this case i can put curly braces and maybe begin with add to differentiate this from the blade um, variables so we can say result title like that so if everything is fine i would like to check if everything is fine with what we are doing and then we see so let me just have mounted here and then maybe echo something such that we can know whether vue.js is running perfectly so i can say a lot uh, view js working like that and so i would like to just uh, i don't know if our application is running it's not running you can say php artisan serve and then as it runs we attempt to see if we can be able to have everything perfect it seems our Vue.js has not been set up properly so let me check and see why that is the case i have seen where the problem is because uh under data we are supposed to return that is where we were having an issue and the reason why our application was misbehaving so again we will paste it inside here and then maybe we just push this one like that so i want to try again and see if our application is running perfectly it you say something about view so again not working so let me check again yes i've noticed another problem here whereby we had such then this as you can see we are supposed to concatenate whatever it is that we adding from the search query so if everything is fine then we will see that so let me refresh again and again we have an issue i guess i do not know what is wrong now it seems i'm getting tired there is also a comma i forgot here let me refresh now it says vue.js working so it means everything is perfect i would like to now just attempt to do a search and see what happens so let me type a d and see if there's anything that is happening again properties length we are having one more error let me check it out also can see another error <laughs> this is supposed to be response dot data whatever it is that we have here I do not know what i had written and i think it was part of what was uh, bringing problems now so here we are going to check if results dot length is greater than zero like that 
and then what I've added we are binding the result ID so we are using the directive v bind and I think um, that is that so let us attempt again to refresh the page so it says Vue.js is working and then let me just type something in I've typed an L and again we are not able to display the values so let me check again what the problem could be yes we can check again i have uh, removed the b v bind so uh, things have remained the way we had them initially and so um, when i type something here I've just started typing an L. As you can see, we are getting very many records. And so if we continue typing, maybe something of that sort, you can see the list is reducing and reducing and reducing. And maybe we just have the things that have the specific thing that we are looking for. If we start with BE, if we can be able to find anything, again, you can see we have the, the data is changing. So we have BE, BTAE, whatever, ATQE, and so on and so forth. And so we have been able to implement full text search in our Laravel application. Bear with me because of uh, the small errors that were there. But I